Hello, welcome to another class with me. My name is Ming. Today we're going to look at this particular problem. Find the point of intersection between two lines. This is the way they've written. This one is a vector equation. And over here is a Cartesian equation. So it is possible that you get the lines in two different forms vector and Cartesian equation or some other forms. So the first thing to do is that from the vector equation, what I can do is that I'm rewriting this using the parametric equation into parametric equation. So x equal to negative 1 plus 4 lambda, y is equal to 5 plus 2 lambda. And I'm going to do the same thing with the Cartesian equation. Right? Here is x plus 2 equal to, I move the 4 up, Right, I move the 4 up, so we come here. And 4 over 2 is 2, and then plus 2 over this side goes to the other side. Right, become plus to become minus 2. So right now, after simplification, this is what I get x equal to minus 2y. So what I can do now is to call this equation 2 and substitute equation 2 into the system for 1. That is, substitute 2 into the system for 1. So right now you can see that instead of x, I put in negative 2y. Instead of x, it's now negative 2y. So right now, what we can do is that eliminate lambda. So here's 4 lambda, here is 2 lambda, 4 lambda and 2 lambda. So what I can do is to make the second equation here, y, times 2. That become 2y, 5 become 10, 2 lambda become 4 lambda. And now I want to get rid of lambda, that means I can add these two equations together. If I add these two equations together, negative 2y plus 2y is 0, negative 1, oh sorry, uh, here I did not cancel lambda, I cancel y instead, okay? So negative 1 plus 10, is 9, 4 lambda plus 4 lambda is 8 lambda. Therefore, lambda itself is negative 9 over 8. Negative 9 over 8. So once we get this negative 9 over 8, we replace the lambda either in the first set or the second equation to get the coordinates because we want to find the point of intersection. So we put it into here. So x in this case become negative 1 times 4 of lambda, so negative 9 over 8. Simplifying this will give me negative 11 over 2. And what we know is that for, how about y? Well, y over here is what x equal to negative 2y. Therefore, y is equal to x over negative 2. So if x is equal to negative 11 over 2, y must be 11 over 4. Alright, so y of negative 11 over 2 is just going to be negative 11 over 2 times 2. So it's 11 over 4 over here. That's the answer. So the point of intersection will be this one. Alright, negative 11 over 2 comma 11 over 4. Now let's look at another problem. Consider these equations. So here we again have two lines. Over here is the first line in Cartesian form. And over here we have another line in Cartesian form. Explain why these lines are not parallel to each another. So if it's not parallel to each another, what we need to do is to consider their direction. So in here, the directions are in the numerator. So, numerator. So, here, these lines have directional vectors 3, 2, 1, for example. Right? This one, 3, 2, 1. So, this part. And then the second one, the one in purple, is negative 4, 2, and 3. So, I write it down here. So, right now, we compare these two. Is there a k such that equation, 
equation number one holds. Actually, I cannot find a k such that this equation will hold. Therefore, these two lines are not parallel to each another. And that will be your conclusion. So, thus I have shown that. Next, determine whether or not the lines intersect. If two lines are not parallel to each another, then we have a condition like this. For example, not parallel to each another. In 3D, it could be this way, where, for example, one is on top of another. So in this case, there's no intersection, right? You can think of it, this one is on the first floor, this is on the third floor, so they do not intersect. Or they might be intersecting such a way that, uh, for example, like this, they are intersecting. In this case, there's one intersection, right? Which is the case. So now we have to determine that. In order to determine this, what we do is that we first assume that there are actually intersections. So this is like proof by contradiction, right? So we start by the one in green over here is this, right? This is the set. I wrote it up here. Uh, let me change the color, right? This blue is this thing in blue here. So change it in parameter equation. And the one in purple, this is this one. There are two sets of equation. I use lambda for the first set of parameter equations and I use mu as my uh, parameter for my second set of equations. And right now, I just equate them. X equ so because there are two unknowns, I only need to consider two equations. So two equations and two unknown to solve it. So I simply pick x coordinate and y coordinate. So set the x coordinate together. Here comes the green. Here's the blue one. Here's the green. Here's the blue one. And then simplify this. You can see that this is 3 lambda minus 4 mu equal to 4. 2 lambda plus 2 mu equal to negative 2. At this point, you need to use my GDC or I need to use my GDC. So you go to menu, algebra, Solve system of linear equation, 2xy. So now I put in the equation, 3x minus 4, uh, 3x minus 4 mu, or 3x minus 4y equal to 4. So I put in 3x minus 4y equal to 4. And the next one is uh, 2x plus 2y, 2x plus 2y equal to minus 2. So here, 2x plus 2y equal to minus 2. All right, let's check whether we have got this correct. All right. And then once you have done this, you just press enter. So then you see the answer is 0 for my x, negative 1 for my y. And this is exactly what we get. So what we know now is that lambda equal to 0, mu equal to negative now. Since we have used x and y, right, we need to check the coordinate z to see whether this is, there is actually intersection or not. If the coordinate z does not match, then basically these two lines are skew. That means this and this are skew. They do not meet. One is on the first floor. The next is on the third floor, for example. Okay. And if the z do meet, that means there is an intersection. So let's check. I put lambda back into this set of equation in green, z equal to zero, and then put mu equal to negative one into the one in blue, I get z equal to negative two. But zero is not equal to two, so this is a contradiction. Thus, there is no intersection in this system. So what we say is that these two lines are skew, right over here, that are like this. They are not intersecting with each another, they are skew. Skew is written this way. S-K-E-W. Alright? Thank you very much. Bye-bye.